Minneapolis residents were caught by surprise on Thursday as crews began removing memorials and barricades at the intersection where George Floyd died. Actually, I got up to do my morning yoga and was changing the laundry and I looked out the window and I saw everything and I just was like, uh, Andy, to my husband, I'm like, I think you need to get up. And he went out there and um, I called him and said, what's going on? And he said, they're tearing it all down. That's surprising. Yeah, it, it, no one knew. Some activists opposed the reopening of the intersection, a kind of autonomous zone slash makeshift memorial in the middle of the city known as George Floyd Square. And I totally get this needs to be opened back up. I understand that, but it's about the way that you go about things, you know? The city came in the most disrespectful manner, picked everything up at 4 a.m. The intersection has been closed to traffic since the murder of George Floyd in late May of last year. Mayor Jacob Frey previously said the city would reopen the intersection to vehicles after the trial of Derek Chauvin, the white police officer who was captured on camera kneeling on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes. On Thursday, Mayor Frey repeated his promise to preserve a permanent memorial to Floyd. This intersection will forever be changed, and we need to be investing in that transformation. We need to be investing directly in racial justice and healing, Everything from black-owned business to black-owned property on that corridor. Facade improvements, creativity directly from our black community, art, and of course the memorial itself. We will be putting our money where our mouth is. Are these your verdicts? So say you one, so say you all. Yes. 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 A jury found Chauvin guilty of murder in April, leading to impromptu street parties at the intersection. <laughs> Activists have vowed to continue occupying the square until a number of demands are met, including reopening investigations into other local black men killed by police. Some local residents and businesses support the activists, while others want the flow of traffic to return to normal.